Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today. It's Melinda with you and I'm so pleased to have you here. I'm really excited to share this page with you. It is my take on the Craft Plus challenges for February and as you can see it's based on books and as you can see I, um, I have a photo there of our family's favourite books which are the Harry Potter books. Uh, my boys are nine and six and a half. Uh, they have watched more of the movies than I'm happy with and we are currently listening. So we've listened to the first and the second book through Audible uh, on car rides. We're currently on the third book uh, and I have told them, so they've seen up to movie five, which Yes, that's my parenting issue. I'm not happy that they've seen that. But anyway, um, so and I've told them that once they can read the last books, they can watch the last movies. So uh, they love the Harry Potter stories so far. They're really enjoying them. They pretend to be Harry Potter. Both of them dressed up as Harry Potter last year for book week. Um, and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to document this because we're all, we're all Potterheads in this family. Um, even though, <laughs> funny story, when the Harry Potter movies first came out, I was like, oh my gosh, why would I want to see, why would I pay money to go and see a kid's movie? My housemate at the time said, hey Mel, we're going to go see a movie. Do you want to come with us? And I was like, yeah, what are you going to go see? And he said, Harry Potter. And I was like, oh, I'll be right. Thanks. And he actually said to me, it's my shout. I, I will pay for you to go see Harry Potter. And by the end of the movie, I was like, oh my goodness, I am sold. Where do I buy the books? How many are they? Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, at, the, at that time, there was four books available uh, and he didn't have any. So I bought them for him for Christmas and promptly after he opened them said, hey, can I please read those? <laughs> so um, yes, we all love Harry Potter. Anyway, um, back to my layout. As you saw, I had a scrap piece of white cardstock that I had, um, I hadn't done anything to. I knew it was about the right size for the title I wanted to work on. I'm so sorry that you're watching me clean my mat here. Gives me a chance to catch up. Um, I applied some matte gel and found some book paper that I tore into strips and stuck down with the matte gel. I've applied a coat of matte gel over the top as well because I knew I wanted to add some mixed media. <clears throat> There's my title done. Um, I wanted to go, so I'm in Gryffindor. Yes, I sorted myself. I'm in Gryffindor. Uh, and so I wanted to include those colours. So the reddest red that I could find, and it was right in front of me, was my red gelato. So I started by doing a little bit of the smooshing technique and because I'd applied the matte medium, uh, I worked out pretty quickly that I could scribble straight onto the paper that I had created and um, use some water to blend it out. So that's what I did. I used the red and the gold um, and I just applied the colour randomly and then I put it through my cameo. The font that I have used is called, I can't remember if it's H. Potter or Harry P. But it's one of those. It was a freebie from defont.com. Um, and so, yeah, when I cut it on my cameo, I also outlined it and cut it in black as well so that um, so that it stood out a bit more. I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with my background. And then I remembered seeing a video from, I think it was Jess from the Scrappy Sisters. If it wasn't Jess, it was Katie, but I'm sure it was Jess. Uh, she did a galaxy background on a scrapbook page. And I wanted to do a galaxy background for ages. Um, but I didn't want to do an art journal page. I wasn't sure that I wanted to. And I hadn't worked out how I could incorporate it. I just haven't had, I haven't been in the mood to create an art journal page. So when I saw... Um, Jess's take I was like oh my gosh I can do it as a scrapbook page I'm not going to do the whole background but I can definitely use that technique so thank you very much Jess um, I had a lot of fun creating this but before I did that I wanted to add some texture and some more of that book elements to the background so again I've taken more of that same 
paper from that old book and used my matte, my matte gel and a torn strips and stuck it to the background. I have got some white gesso after that was dry and just kind of smudged the smeared, smeared the gesso over so that it all kind of blends in and when I did the gesso was when I realized I was going to do the galaxy so I was like what else can I add here I'm going to add some texture so I've got some texture paste and a Heidi Swap stencil and I just smushed through some um, modeling paste through the stars um, I've come back and I know that I'm going to have a bit of a play with blues uh, and blacks. I'm going to use a bit of purple. Um, if anyone wants to know the colours I've used, let me know and I can find them. Um, but you can see what I'm doing is not technical at all. I first spray water onto my background page on top of the gesso. And then I am using all of these colours and I am literally spraying the colour straight on, moving it around. Um, I end up pulling in my paintbrush here and just moving that colour around. Now I think I end up adding about three layers, three different layers of colour here, using my heat tool to dry it off, um, adding more colour, using some paper towel here and there to soak up some of the water without too much of the colour. Um, and so I'm just going to go back and forward and add my colour here. So you can see I'm coming back in again with some more colour. That's the Indigo um, colour spray by Colour Blast. This is one of the really dark blue, dark blue colours by Shimmers. I can't remember what the colour's called. Um, black Heidi Swap colour shine. I was a bit scared using this. Now when I did my samples in my little book there that you saw before, um, the black kind of went completely haywire so I decided I would just use my paintbrush and paint it on, splatter it on, um, use my water, move it around. So this was just a bit of a process, adding layers, drying it off, coming back, going away, um, adding some more layers. But this was fun. I just, it's not often that you just add colour and walk away and add some black and yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this. Just adding some more of that dark blue in. And then I was like, oh, I've got no splatters. So off I go with my splatters. And again, I kind of think that it kind of represents the galaxy and I went with the galaxy idea because it's Harry Potter and magic and, you know, kind of just fits. Well, it does in my brain anyway. <laughs> um, I also wanted colours that I knew would contrast to the red and gold that I had used for my title. I did want that title to pop off the page. So I'm just um, adding lots of splatters here and I'm using all of the colours that I've used in the background. I've used a combination of Colour Blast, Colour Spray, Heidi Swap Colour Shine, um, some shimmers in all the different finishes. I'm going to add in black, white and gold next, I think, if I haven't already added the black. Oh, more colour. I was like, that's a bit too light, so let's add in some more black. And the way the colour kept pulling, um, I kept soaking it up. So you can see here it's moved a lot, but it keeps pulling in the top left-hand corner um, instead of staying in the middle of the page. Now, this happens because the paper is warped, um, but I was like, ah, stop moving. So I thought I would add in some gold colour shine and I've added that into where the it's still wet in the background so that would move and um, blend in a little bit and I've also added in some white splatters I think using white gesso and water. So I did cut a title using some of the leftover paper and I didn't like how it was looking um, I also cut these stars as well from some of that leftover paper that I created, which I'm going to use as embellishments. I've got some black and some gold tissue paper. I'm just going to layer my photo up. Just 
finally remembered to move my layout so that I'm not sticking my photo onto the mess. Um, yes, I've, I've said it before, I don't have a great deal of room on my desk where I record. Cannot wait to move. Um, so yeah, just a thin layer of the black and then I'm going to add some of the gold. Just wanted something behind there. I knew I didn't want more pattern. I didn't want to cover up too much of that background I created. So I'm going to add in, so I did get something on my photo. So I just added a star to cover that up. And I'm going to add a couple more, just so there's three around the photo. So I do muck around for ages trying to get the placement correct of this title. I realised after I'd stuck the photo onto some cardboard to lift it up, I was like, what am I going to do? So these are the letters that I cut. I do not end up using them. Um, so I quickly dismissed that idea and then I decided I wanted to add a little something in the background. So I've got this uh, wood, it's not wood here. It's chipboard that I won. Um, I can't remember who from. It's an Australian company. I love it. Um, it was from a Craft Plus Challenges that I won it as well. Scrap effects? I think it is. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so I'm. That kind of reminded me of magic as well. I, I don't know. My brain just went. Okay, this this is kind of like magic. That's kind of like magic. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, so I emboss that with some gold embossing powder. You can see I've changed my alphas there. I did try the navy blue version of these, but they kind of blended in too much. Now, I a few of my videos have got funny angles from my camera, and I do apologise. When I cleaned up in here, I took everything, like I took the um, tripod out and everything, and I haven't been able to get it back. I think it's back in the right spot now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I think it's good now. So I'm sticking down that, um, chipboard and then I was like, I've got a long arm stapler, you noob. Use that. So I grabbed that, um, put a couple of staples in the middle and my photo is going to go right on top in the middle there. Did I say my photo or my title? That's my photo either way. Make sure that's going to stick. With all that mixed meter in the background, it, um, it was a bit tricky. So I start to stick down my word potter heads. And now the P and the O are stuck. And I'm like, oh my goodness. The T has to go up. So I moved all my alphas again. And I'm going to tuck the title underneath that. I don't know. It kind of looks like a magic swish. That's what I'm going to call it, my magic swish. Um, I'm going to add these stars in. Again, I wanted that contrast with the um, with the red and the gold to the background of the blue. So this was a lot of fun to create. Um, without this challenge, I don't know that I ever would have thought to have told the story that I have. Uh, on the finished page, you will have seen, if you haven't already, that there is a, um, a fair bit of journaling on the bottom, and it just... Uh, just talks about what I spoke about earlier about our family being all mad potterheads. I wanted to continue on with the messy, so I went with black and I'm double underlining all my um, lines, and that's the finished page. I really had heaps of fun playing with um, playing along with this challenge. Make sure you head over to the Craft Plus blog for all of the information. Make sure you share in the Facebook group. We love seeing your pages over there. Um, this was super, super fun. It's all about books. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you again in my next process. Have a fantastic day.